everybody, Young Justice Outsiders is out on DC Universe and we got to see a few episodes. I'm Jackie Jing with David Griffin. And I think the big question our audience has is what's different about it? It is violent. It's darker. It's darker. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is definitely made for more adult audience. Yeah. They're not on Cartoon Network anymore. They have a little bit more freedom to play around in DC Universe, just like a Netflix or an Amazon. They can get darker, they can be more adult. But I think everything else feels the same, mm -hmm. even though the characters are now a little bit older. It's been a couple years. Everybody still feels like they came out of the original Young Justice series and yeah. ended five years ago. Which so I, I think, think fans will appreciate. I think fans yeah. will feel at home, mm -hmm. even though it's more violent, they'll still feel at home when they watch the series. Okay, so let's kind of give people a synopsis of what's going on, which is a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking about human experimentation, family betrayal, political drama, all that. So yeah, let's let's get a synopsis here. <laughs> right now, what's going on, so there's a little dissent in Justice League and in the Young Justice gang. So mm -hmm. uh, Batman, not to go too heavy into spoilers, but Batman has, he's not happy with the way things are going. He doesn't think they yeah. can complete their mission anymore. So he kind of goes off and some people go with them, some people don't. Some of the Young Justice members, now that they're older. Justice League disbanding. Right. Justice League disbanding. Ah. This is a lot of drama within yeah. the ranks. So the whole Outsiders comes from Nightwing leaving and forming his own group, and it's, it's crazy because they're just they're all dysfunctional right now. They're not banding together, and that's some of the problem because right now there's metahuman trafficking, which is a big problem, mm -hmm. and it's get it's just it's hurting the team. They need to like form up, and that's what a lot of the drama takes place. I knew this is going to be darker, but I was just shocked at how yeah. dark it really yes. was. I mean, we get into a lot of drama with um, Markovia, which a lot is of kind politics. of cool. It's, yeah, it's a little a lot political. Of politics. It's yeah. having the politics, but I feel like there's enough action to balance the politics. Yeah. Out. We're, we're yes. talking assassinations, mm -hmm. like things get absolutely wild. Why do you think that we're seeing this darker tone? Do you think people are gonna appreciate it? I mean, this is on DC Universe. We've seen this with Titans and kind of like Doom Patrol as well, so. Well, I think they realized that, look, this show first premiered in 2010. Yep. It was canceled in 2013. So now that we're five years later, the audience has grown up, they're older. They expect, you know, a little edge to the show now. They want it to be darker, want to be mm -hmm. gritty, more violent, you know, more, I guess, real to life and not as necessarily a child. Uh, not, this isn't supposed to be safe for children anymore. Yeah. And I think that's what they're doing here. And it works, it, yeah. but it doesn't, it's not distracting. It's not over the top. It's not yeah. like Castlevania bloody. Yeah, like no, that. no, 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 I agree. Violent. It's not that gory. Right. I, to be honest, I was sold. Like, yeah. I, I thought it was really good. We only got about three episodes, but I definitely wanted to see more. What were your thoughts? I thought the same thing. I wanted to see more. It's exciting. It's it's older. It feels more mature. It, it's everything that the show needed to be to evolve till to, to 2018. I'm yeah. glad it's back. I mean, it doesn't feel like it left. It just feels like I'm back home again. Well, we cannot wait to see more of it. But when you see it, tell us what you think of Young Justice Outsiders in the comments section. And don't forget to check out the trailers for Doom Patrol and Warrior. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.